Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. I'm excited about this one. Um, hopefully you guys find this video helpful. And if you haven't figured it out already, I'm going to be talking about my top five fall fishing baits for bass. Now what you want to be fishing in the fall are, like structure wise, um, is like rocks. It's like riprap stuff. Um, deep weeds or like deep structures I should actually say and wood and like other things that you know fish can you know tuck under and hide in and um so like those are your, like my things that I like to fish for for bass in the fall when you know the water temperature starts to cool down these fish start to get a little bit more lethargic I want to fish you know more deep water and more structure because those fish are going to be tucked into that structure and you can't be afraid to get you know down and dirty with your baits and get snagged or something or break off because if you get into that structure you have a better chance at catching a fish and most likely a big one than casting outside of the structure and maybe getting a bite from a small fish so but anyways let's roll into my first bait that I have for you guys that I want to talk about. So my first bait is a spinner bait. Um, this is a 3 fourths ounce, I mean 3 eighths ounce spinner bait. Um, but anyways I like to throw the white color because the pond that I fish in is you know like a murky color. And But you can also throw black and blue, um, pink, no that sounds kind of weird but pink actually does work for murky water. It's something that the fish can see, something that I catch fish on and other people catch fish on. But and you can also throw chartreuse. But anything, and with your blades, you want to, you know, I like to throw gold or like a silver. Um, those are basically the two colors that you can throw. But mainly um, a gold because that actually, like, I don't know. Um, I kind of like both. But something that really flashes in that water, something that's got to get the fish's lateral line, lateral line to pick up and be able to, you know, sense that and find what it, what it is and something that the fish can see. So, um, yeah, spinner baits are a really good fall um, bait. Um, you want to be fishing this kind of like a medium speed to a lower, lower um, speed. Uh, these fish aren't going to be as active as, active as if they were F it, as if you were fishing them in the spring and the summer. Um, you also want to be fishing this when um, there's like a good chop on the water um, and um, in blowing bays. That's where you're going to find your bigger fish most and most of your fish and a lot of bait fish. But spinner it. There you go. So my next bait that I want to talk about is a cheddar bait. There you go. This is a also a three eighths ounce chatterbait. Um, but anyways, you want to be throwing this when there's a little, you know, that little chop on the water, um, and you want to be fishing in blowing bays. But you can, I mean, even with the spinnerbait, you you can you know fish wherever, um, even with chop, even with calm water, it just works better when it's windy. Um, cause the fish, you know, they, they can't detect your bait as well when it's choppy as if it was calm. Cause if it was calm, they would be able to sense, they'll be able to tell it what, um, is a lure or a real fish. And when it's choppy, they can't really tell that it's, it's, if, if it's a lure or a real fish. So, but anyways, you want to be fishing your chatter baits in weeds and along rocks and structures. You can also fish this like a jig, but I like just fishing it normal, just a straight retrieve. And this blade is just going to go back and forth really quick and it's going to give off a lot of vibration. Um, but And again, you want to be fishing um, a certain color depending on your water clarity. My third bait that I want to talk about are crankbaits. So, with crankbaits, I got two different kinds of crankbaits. I have one with a bill and one with no bill. This is a regular crankbait. This is what 
with the bill, and this is what you're going to be throwing off rocks, and you want to be making a lot of, you know, commotion on the bottom so, and stir up the ground so that these fish, so that you can get the fish's attention. Now with lipless crankbait, you notice that it doesn't have a bill. Um, the, you can also straighten too. This this vibrates really fast and it has a lot of rattles. This has like one or two rattles in it. Here, I'll shake it for you guys. It's got. I mean, it's kind of hard to. It's got. I keep debating if it has a rattle or something in it. But the hooks, um, they bang up against this, and that just basically are your rattles. But um, with yeah, I already talked about the crankbait, but with the lipless crankbait, you want to do a rip and let it, you know, sink. A rip, let it sink, and you want always want to be making bottom contact with that, you know, kind of method or yeah, method or style with fishing this bait. You can also let it sink all the way down to the bottom and start reeling a steady to a slow pace. Um, nothing too crazy. And you want to be fishing weeds with this thing. You want to rip it through the weeds. You can also fish it on rocks. I mainly find this bait really effective when your body of water has a lot of weeds and you're fishing, you know, deeper water with weeds in it. And, um, you know, when you rip it through the weeds, that's going to, you know, attract the fish because they're going to see that and they're going to see those weeds move. And they're going to come up to you and they're going to investigate and they're going to see this thing and they're going to go, mmm, burger, and they're going to, you know, eat it. But anyways, there's your crankbaits. So my fourth bait that I want to talk about are jerk baits. So I got two uh, different sizes of jerk baits. Here's a smaller size. Here's a bigger size. <clears throat> so with jerk baits, you want to be fishing in the fall when you're when you know the fish are like really finicky because you can tell when the fish are finicky or lethargic when they don't bite on any, you know, any baits or you don't get a bite from any bait, on any bait or and from the fish. Um, but anyways, these baits do produce quite a bit in the fall. Um, but anyways, let's just keep talking about the jerk bait. Um, so what I like about these jerk baits is that they got a ton of, you know, rattles. Okay. Um, and they get a lethargic fish. So a fish that's not really active, they don't want, and they don't want to move. They just want something to go right past their face, and they'll decide that they want to eat. So yeah, it goes from a lethargic fish to a active and moving fish that wants to eat your bait. That's what I like about jerk baits. They get finicky fish to active fish to fish that want to bite. And these are when the water temperature is like below 50. It's when you're struggling to, you know, get bites, a jerk bait is one of your better baits to throw. And you want to be fishing, you know, weeds, you want to rip it through weeds. You also want to be, you know, fishing along rip wrap and structures. But there's your jerk baits. Now, my fifth and final bait that I want to talk about are jigs. So, I got a variety of jigs. I have, you know, different sizes, um, here are my jigs, I just, you know, I just picked out some, some jigs, just five, I didn't want to go crazy, but I have a lot more jigs, but, um, here's your green pumpkin, here's your black, here's your black and blue, here's your PB and J, and somewhere in there, yeah, here it is. You got your craw. So, and you want to be fishing those all on rocks. You want to be fishing them, you know, on bottom structures, deep water. Uh, you always want to be making contact with those and stirring up the bottom. So, like, what I use with the jigs, I do a rip, rip, pause, let it sink down to the bottom, rip, rip, pause. Or you could also do just a really slow reel along the bottom. And you could also do a long pull and pause. And a long pull and pause. And just always keep bottom contact. Make sure you can feel the bottom. Or otherwise you're not really going to be able to, you know, see if you're on the bottom or not. But 
what I like to throw for the trailers on those jigs are Reaction Innovation. Um, I love these um, cross. Um, I have a different size of these, but this is a 4.2 inch Magic Swirl Craw. And what a Magic Swirl is, it's uh, black flakes with blue and green mixed together. So here I'll show you that. So I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but um, it, yeah, it's got kind of a blue and green mixed to it with black flakes. And um, I love throwing these um, on my jigs for trailers. You can also throw um, some that have um, flippers that actually, when you pull, they actually go like this in the water. And that you know, moves a lot of water there. You can also use that um, for finicky fish. But um, you don't want to go something with too much in the fall, too much action. You want to go something with a little bit more subtle. I recommend these reenaction innovation baits. Um, you can do it this this way without the pinchers um, spread apart, or you could spread them apart. And when you rip your jig, they'll actually spread apart and they'll flare out, and then they'll come back together. And you can you know keep doing that. But these baits, they're really stretchy. I'm not going to pull one apart because um, I only have two packs. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully you found this video really helpful because I know um, some some of you guys might have been struggling uh, catching bass in the fall. I'm not sure if any of you guys have been out much in the fall just because of the cold weather that I have been having up here in the Midwest. And it's been, you know, it's been windy, it's been cold, it's been snowy, it's been, I mean, kind of rainy, kind of a wintry mix. So, like, a sleep. But the fishing has been really hard lately. I fished all these baits on Sunday, which was yesterday. Only four bites between me and my buddy, Cade looking here. But it was tough, cold, fish were just shut down. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, you know, um, if you like, and let me know if you found this video helpful. I'll do more of these for a different species and for a different type, for different times of the season. But anyways, good luck.